Hi, my name is Brooke Hedrick, and I was recipient number three for Red Corner. I was diagnosed in 2011 with stage four Hodgkin's lymphoma. I have been in remission for nine years, and I'm currently working towards a uh, nursing degree from Alberta University, and I will graduate in May of 2021. Brooke, how old were you when you got cancer? Um, I was 12 years old, and it started out of the blue, really. I went to the doctor for a regular physical. At the time, I was going to get my wisdom teeth out, and during the regular physical exam, she noticed a bump on my neck, and I didn't think anything of it. I didn't notice anything. So she brought another doctor, and at that point, I still didn't really pick up on anything, but they were like, all right, so we're gonna cancel this uh, procedure, and you have to go in for a CT scan that day. So that day, I went in for a CT scan, and within minutes of the CT scan, they took me to the ER, sat me down, they're like, okay, we wanna roll out Hodgkin's lymphoma, and then that night, we were transported to CHOP, and five days later, I was diagnosed with stage four Hodgkin's lymphoma. How did you first hear about Red Corner Benefit? I believe that Red Corner, Tammy and Kev, reached out to my mom at some point in time, probably in like September of my year, and then Steph Hughes, Lexi's mom, knew my mom through like mutual friends and stuff like that so obviously she knew about red corner and i remember her coming and talking to us about it and through there we like came met him and then the next time i met him was at my benefit so what was your first red corner benefit experience like so my first experience i remember was um coming here about three weeks before my benefit and the whole crew was here and we got to meet everybody. I remember certain people asked me like what I wanted to do for the day and like we didn't know what to expect. We've never seen photos from the benefit. We didn't know what was gonna happen. So it kind of was just like an almost an overwhelming experience of meeting all these people and thinking it was kinda of like too good to be true that they just wanted to help us. But it it ended up being like a really great day with like all these things, like great bands and it, it was kinda of like the skeleton of like what it is today. So that was it was just different. So it's my understanding you're in college and you're in the nursing program. With you being sick, does that ha did that have lead your way into what you're doing? I've actually had people ask me a lot, like, why I want to become a nurse. And I honestly don't really remember when it happened. I just, for the longest time, I've just, I figured out one day that that was what I was going to do. And being sick and, like, being the patient and just being around so many nurses and, like, seeing how things went, like, I felt comfortable in it, and, like, my prior knowledge has helped me a lot to get me where I am, and I think it did influence me a lot, and it makes me have a better perspective for helping people, so it's a combination of giving back, doing something that I'm interested in, and picking a profession that I know throughout my life I'll always be able to use it in a way that helps a lot more people than just myself. What kind of advice would you give a family that was just recently had a child diagnosed with cancer? If I was meeting with a family that was just diagnosed, I'd probably, I would probably just ask them if they had any questions and then kind of go from there. But overall, I would say that like, it's, it's not what you think it's gonna be like, and you're gonna meet a lot of people along the way for, to help you and I suggest that you take the help and also like as a family you kind of you need to come together because it doesn't just affect the one kid in the family it affects the siblings the parents and you really need to find a community to help you through the time because it's there's gonna be really good days and there's gonna be normal days but at the end of it you need to be able to build from it and work through it in a way that's healthy so you need to kind of work through it mentally, physically, as a unit, because then it makes it so much easier. So you just worry about this time period and know that you'll make it through no matter what happens. And just take it day by day, really. Each day, 43 kids are newly diagnosed in the United States of cancer. And worldwide, 300,000 kids are diagnosed with cancer each year.